from Hollywood. Tell me you're a madman. It's the Tom Likas Show. I'm going to take you into our conference room. Seems more seemly a setting for what I have to say to you. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. And look at this. Freddy boyfriends need never worry about upsetting their girlfriend during that time of the month. With the help of a new reminder system. BMSBuddy.com was established to help men, quote, to be prepared and aware when it's the difficult time of the month for many women. According to its website. Creator Jordan Eisenberg said the site can text and email you with a reminder that the time of the month is on the way so you can be prepared for all events. The system allows the user to enter the PMS details of five different women simultaneously for free. One user said, I am going straight on to that site. My girlfriend is like a pit bull that time of the month. Another man said that when his girlfriend has her ladies' time, ladies' time. Was he a homo? Not that there's anything wrong with that. He keeps a safe distance. <laughs> Women were not so happy with the idea of the site. Trish said, this site is making us sound like monsters. Guys, get over it. It's only once a month. Deal with it. You all have it so easy. However, it says here, the site gives men a bit of an insight into how a woman might feel. The website advises, first and foremost, don't ask... <laughs> Do you have PMS? It sure seems like it, whenever she isn't being a perfect angel. One woman claimed that her boyfriend had set up five reminders to his phone, one for her, one for his boss, and the rest for his sisters. <laughs> now, you know, I did have an ex-girlfriend who I, uh, I used my Microsoft Outlook on my computer. And I had it uh, blocked out as PMS hell. There were five days, PMS hell. Every four weeks it said PMS hell. And I would make sure to be out of the house at those times as much as possible. But in reality, think about it. First of all, women's behavior when they are on the rag is not acceptable. Uh, being a cranky bitch is not acceptable. It's not. You know what? If if you have hormonal issues, go to your room, close the door. You don't have a right to spill that crap on me. So don't do it. I won't tolerate it. I won't. I have been with women who are <laughs> um, more jealous when they're on the rag. I have been with women who are cranky when they're on the rag. I have been with women who yell at me and nag more when they're on the rag. I won't tolerate it. I won't. This is one of the great reasons not to be married and not to live with anyone. Those five or six days of the month, or for some women it's like ten days of the month, uh, when you just say, hey, you know what? You stay at your place, I'll stay at mine. Don't come over. Don't need your hypercriticism. Don't need your yelling. Don't need your insanity. I don't need that. I just think that uh, women should not be cut any slack in this area. You know what? Men have problems, too. And the fact is, if you're not uh, stuck like a caged animal living with one of these people, uh, then you won't have this problem. Ladies, when you got a headache, when you're bleeding like a stuck pig, you know what you do? Stay home. Stay in your place. Don't come to my place. Stay there until all the symptoms are gone. Come over when you're done. Another good reason, by the way, not to get married, not to live with anybody, not to have a serious relationship, because the minute you have that emotional investment, women feel they have the right to dump all this crap on you merely because they are hormonal. I do not agree. I do not believe that uh, that women have the right to dump this crap on us, and I don't tolerate it. I don't want to hear it.
Ladies, take a Mido. Get a hot water bottle and a copy of Cosmo and go lie down on the bed, okay? But stay away from me. I don't need your issues. I don't need your crap, okay? The fact that you are on your period and you run out of tampons, no reason for you to come treat me like crap. And I'm not going to tolerate it. And I don't tolerate it. Anybody starts getting in my face during that time of the month, I show them the door. If they're ever going to come back, come back when it's over. I don't want to see it, I don't want to smell it, and I don't want to hear it. You think I'm being unreasonable here? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. Now with the shortest breaks ever. More phone calls than ever before. That's our deal. It's one 800 800 tom And um, I don't care if it's your time of the month. You don't have a right to dump on me or anybody. Bo on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Mr. Tom. How are you today? Doing great. Excellent. Thank you for having me on. It's great to talk to you. I know. Um, uh, um, I just want to say that, you know, it is purely biological, and it is the reason why you and I am here, and for most of your listeners, why they will have children in the future. But it, but it doesn't, none of that matters. It doesn't mean I have to listen to it. Um, that's right, and you don't have to put up with women, and you don't have to have women in your life if you don't want to put up with I can with have women in my life. I have figured out the perfect way to do it. They're in my life when they're not on the rag. Well, instead of being a cause, you can be a solution. You can, like, I agree with the website. You can learn about um, the. The only solution is menopause. No, menopause is actually quite worse. It's when. Um, and I solve that problem too, because uh, by the time a woman hits menopause, I'm done with her anyway. Well, actually, the solution is very easy. Easy if you just um, incorporate vitamins and certain metals and herbs and supplements into. Well, the diet. that's that's her problem. Okay, this is not my problem. But still, you have to cohabitate with women in order no, to cohabitate with women. No, you don't. Um, uh, well, I do. You don't necessarily have to, but I know that you don't have girlfriends living in your house anymore unless you do. But in order to have women, I in your don't. Life, yeah. Okay, but in order to have women in your life, yeah, you can. You can, you know, scare them off and tell them not to be around during that time of the month. It's not about scaring long. them off. I just tell them, you know, when you got uh, when you got this issue, you know, relax. Take a chill pill. Hang but, out at home. Oh, uh, but you know, it's a chemical imbalance. It's something that they cannot help it. At I, all. Again, that's fine. So, so when you have a chemical imbalance, uh, time to lie down, you know, uh, turn on some lifetime or some oxygen or something and, uh, get back with me when, uh, you're feeling better. Well, see, you're offering solutions already, like laying down. No, like- I'm not, I'm not actually offering suggestions, frankly. I just, uh, I, I, it's a nice way of saying don't call me when you're on the rack. Mm, then you should just say, don't call me. But other than that, if you're going to suggest something, I would say... Well, actually, I, I solved the problem. If women don't live with me, when they're on the rag, they kind of naturally don't call me. Why don't... Oh, why don't you just have them have a hysterectomy? That might be even better. Again, I don't I, they don't have to do anything. I just don't want them in my life when they're on the rag. That's all. Which is understandable, but at one point or another, they're going to be there... And that's when they should be staying at their place. And I'll stay at my place. So the the point is the website and keeping track of the periods, correct? That's what it does, yes. Yeah. See, the, it, the, the period, no matter what, no matter how you try to avoid it, it's still going to be there. But it isn't going to be in my house. It doesn't have to be in your house, but your computer's in your house. You're tracking it is in your house. So I'm not, how- I'm not using, uh, by the way, I'm not using this website. Oh. I don't have to, because women don't live in my house. And when women are on the rag, they know not to come over. And how have you decided this? Have you had women in your house before? Oh, well, I've, I've been married four times. So, come on, are you a new listener? No. Yes. Well, I, then you should know I've been divorced four times. Mm-hmm. And among the things that I have a zero-tolerance policy for are being a bitch when you're on the rag. Not all women are. Some women are quite I didn't say all women are, but those who are, stay home. 
Well, you can ask them to stay home, and those are the. Women I'm not asking them to stay home. I'm I'm telling them to stay home. Well, then you know, like I said, they can... don't have a right to dump their hormones or their hormonal issues on me. Done. Well, what about your your bit? your aggressiveness towards them. And I, well, first of all, I'm not aggressive towards women, but any woman who thinks I'm too aggressive, she can stay home also. That's fine. I uh, Let me tell you something. They can stay home uh, as much as they like. The so, point is, I don't want hormonal screaming and bitching and complaining in my home. Okay, but some women are not like that. So if a woman is not hormonal or... or uh, if the only issue is that she might bleed on my sheets, I, I have no problem with that. Okay. If it's going to be insane, ranting and raving and, you know, I'm hell on wheels when I got PM. You know, those women who say that or they've got uh, license plate frames, uh, warning of how, how bad they get when they're on the rag, they can stay home. Okay. So what was the whole point? I mean, point if a woman bleeds on my sheets, I got spray and wash. Not a problem. Mm -hmm. What about the website? you agree with the website? Do you not agree with the website? Do I agree with it that it should exist? Well, it's a, I think it's a good idea uh, because I think guys should avoid women when they're on the rack. Oh, I see. Um, you know, it really depends. Like I said, instead of being, you know, part of the problem or cause, just be a, a, a solution. It's, I, it's not my job to be part of the solution. I don't have a hormonal problem. But if you want, if you want this lady in your life, I, she's in my life when she's not having a hormonal problem. But it, it's very simple to cure. Like I it's said, it's not my job. Well, what is you, what is your job? I, Just I, when she's not hormonal, she's more than welcome to hang out with me. But I, I put it this way: relationships are supposed to be fun. I don't want to have to work. Mm. If I have to work too hard at a relationship, it's no fun, and therefore, it's not for me. Relationships must be fun, or I'm not interested, and most of them are not fun. Uh, it, 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 all this talk about work and compromising and educating and helping out, I, I have no interest in any of that. I, I totally agree with that, um, but as far as this biological disorder is concerned, it's not fun for either party. But it's not my problem. It's I your agree. problem. It's, it's it's not your problem whatsoever, and you can dictate your life however you want. And I totally agree with you. And I, as far as I'm concerned, I agree with the website. I hope that guys learn more about um, PMS and the. I know. I know all about it. Uh, women, uh, in many cases, although not all, are insufferable. And when they are insufferable, I don't want them around. I make it real easy. Well, in stuff, when you say insufferable, you're just being rude. No, I'm just being honest. I don't know, because that, that's not an absolute, and you should not speak an absolute. Uh, yeah, don't tell me how I should speak. You well, shouldn't tell other people how they should speak. That's just pure logic, but getting back on... No, it's not pure logic. It's your opinion. No, it's not. It's, yes, it is your opinion. I don't want to argue. Uh, well, yes, you do. No, I really don't. Women love to say they don't love to argue while they're in the middle of arguing. That's why Are you I'm on the rag back. yourself right now? That's why I'm bringing it back. Are you on the rag right now yourself? That's why I'm bringing it Are back. Are you on the rag now? Um, that's none of your business. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. That's not what... Thank you. Now you see, if she's not living with you, you can do that. You're on the rag? Keep it to yourself. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Brian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom Likas, how you doing? Doing great. You are my dad. You are my God. Love it. You have you have honestly changed my life. Good. And last, last girl, woman, or bitch, I was just talking to you, definitely on her rag. She was getting a little too detailed with the whole biological and everything. I think, you know what, I think that women get away with too much, too much, whether they're pregnant or they're on the rag or they're getting stressed out, whichever one it is. That's um, right. I got, I got a great story for you and yeah. your listeners. Right. All right, check this out. So my first mistake, I'm in a relationship. That's a big one. Yeah, it is. I've been in a relationship for one year. Well, the girl I'm with had a dental procedure that she was doing, and she was on her rag. So I guess she wanted me to pamper her up and 
you know, do all that stuff for her. She wanted me to get her a basket full of stuff and, like, a bunch of things. You know, rent her a movie. Like, like she's my little baby, you know? Play basketball for one hour. Guess what she did when I got back? In one hour, Tom. Why? She ripped me, ripped me a new one, told me, you know what? You're not there for me. You didn't do anything for me. You didn't get me stuff. I've I've been it's the time of the month and this and that and I just I went crazy. She was cussing, yelling, like you know, I couldn't deal with it at all. So what'd you do? You know what? I ignored her. Ignored her for a few days. She got really pissed off. I told her, you know, I've been stressed out at work and I'm not taking it out on you and just because you're on your rag, you can't take things out on me and just go crazy. I mean you know, women act like they have no self control, you know. And if the last the last caller is talking about biological and all this good stuff, you know, as men we get really aggressive. But you you get aggressive because you had a bad day at work at a woman and just say some stuff. They'll go. You don't even necessarily have to hit them, but they'll go. They'll file harassment at work. They'll do a bunch of things, you know. So I didn't. I ignored her. For Zero tolerance policy. Yeah. Can't use the S word on the air, son. Go to our website, my, well, go to our uh, MySpace, MySpace.com slash Tom Likas, MySpace.com slash T-O-M-L-E-Y-K-I-S. Don't be embarrassed and don't waste your time calling in here only to be bleeped out and hung up on. See the list of all the words you can never say on the radio and then you'll be informed. Jeannie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom, how are you? Great. You know, Tom, I agree with you 100%. I think for two to four days out of the month, I am not myself. I am horrible. I'm a nag. I cry. I bitch and moan. I'm, you know, and then I'd spend the next two days after that apologizing for how I was. And I completely agree. You know, I hate imposing that on somebody else. Well, I'm glad you feel that way because many women think that uh, that's part of a man's responsibility is to tolerate her crap when she's on the rag. I don't think so because if the roles were re reversed and my boyfriend or husband is a different person for two to three days out of the month, I'm not sure that I would want to take that. You know, that would be their problem. I don't, I'm not sure that, yeah, I don't think it's the guy's responsibility to just accept it. I agree with you, Jeannie. Why aren't there more women like you out there? Tracy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. I'm like her. She took all of what I was going to say. But anyways, um, I agree that it's a woman's problem. We get it. We deal with it. I stay by myself. I'm not even around my girlfriends during that time of the month. I don't even think they can handle me. But my boyfriend insists on being around me anyway. And I'm like, well, if you're going to insist, that's your fault. But I don't think I should. The rag is horrible. It's horrible. But I do the same thing. I bitch, cry. I'm about 100 times worse. And women always have an excuse. Pregnancy, rag, everything. We have it all. And people fall for it. So, But what do you do when he insists on being around you? Well, that's his problem. If that's what he wants. Well, then he's going to get it. And he needs the man up. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. Bye. Appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Kyle on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Going great. Yeah, I think women just try to use this as an excuse, just like everyone else, else uses the excuse when you're drunk. You know, the truth comes out. The truth does come out. When you're drunk, you just don't care. You know, oh, I would never cheat on my girlfriend, but I'm drunk, so I don't care. Every time I've used the C word on a chick, it's when I was hammered. Exactly. I said, so, don't be a C word. I've, I've said that. <laughs> and I, and you know what? I have never, even though most guys the next day will be, oh, my God, I said the big one. I said the C word. I have never regretted it because you know what? I It's just that I lost all my inhibitions. They were C words, every one of them. Every one of them. Exactly. And chicks just try to use the same excuse. I'm on my reg. You have to tolerate why I'm being a bitch. No, you don't. Exactly, but I'm saying they they assume that we need to, but no freaking way. I'm not tolerating it. No way. All right, Kyle. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here we are trying to find out 
uh, whether uh, you think it's uh, okay for women to dump all their crap on you, all their baggage, uh, because they're on the rag. It's 1-800-5800-866. We'll be back in four minutes. We have the shortest breaks on the show we've ever had before. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. A Tom Likas show. Tom Like is showing one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Playing. Uh, why do women think they can dump their PMS crap on us when they're on the rag? It's one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Chris on the Tom Like is show. What? Is that a question or a statement? Yeah, uh, you know I've been listening to a couple of the callers, and uh, you know, long time listener, first time caller, and. You know, I got to agree with the two women that just called a little while ago that we shouldn't have to deal with their crap because, you know, I dated a girl about a month ago, and I witnessed her first rag. And, um, you know, I had to break up with her because of it because, you know, for four days she was like a total, I don't know if I could say, you know, witch or whatever. but Yes, a bitch. Yeah, yeah, a big one, you know. So whatever, you know, I had to deal with that crap for about four days, and then she's like, oh, well, this is how I'm going to be here, you know, for four days out of every month. I'm like, well... Is it cool if, uh, you know, I'm a bitch to you for four days out of every month, and then we'll see how you like it, you know? And she wasn't really down to put up with that. So I just want to say, why is it that when the tables are turned, they deny the offer, but... But you see that? you see why it makes more sense, Chris? If you insist on having a girlfriend, and at 23, I don't know why you do, um, well, wouldn't it make more sense to have her live at her place? I'm sorry? Wouldn't it make more sense for her to have her own place to live in? So she could just be there and stay there? I'm letting any girl come live with me. I mean... Ah, 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 ah. Zero tolerance policy. The BS word is an offshoot of the S word. Uh, Not permissible. Go to our website. Oh, no, it's, it's not our website. Go to myspace.com slash Tom Likas for a complete list of the words you can never say on the radio. If you really don't know what those words are, go learn what they are, for God's sake. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Stephanie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. I am seven months pregnant, and i got to tell you the mood swings and the weepiness and all that nonsense is entirely in the woman's head and in their control because I have enough respect that when I'm going through whatever drama is going on in my head or if I feel like crying looking at a commercial or something, my husband knows that it's coming. I respect him and I let him know and I say, not the right time, get out of here, go go to the car, do whatever, and he leaves. And he's smart enough to understand not to fight with me, not to be... Um, he's argumentative, argumentative, whatever the word is. And I think these guys are dating or being with the wrong girls because it's drama. The women know how to stop. The women can shut up. All she has to do is shut up. Seriously, shut up. Or yeah, but women, women, women are not capable in many cases. I mean, you may be capable and you sound like a reasonable individual. But most women I know are not capable of shutting up. We've had shows about that. I mean, there are guys who sit and all they're saying in their minds is shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Yeah. I, I mean, there are guys who are thinking that. All their waking hours of the day. Shut up! Um, just so you know, these girls, most of them, including myself, if we don't complain about this kind of, you know, we don't get weepy with our girlfriends. We don't get weepy with their females. It's for the men. It's the drama that they create for the men. It's just for attention. So just ignore them. Leave. Go. Leave the house. Just walk out. Go to the bar. Go with your friends. Go to the strip club. Just ignore them. Yeah. That's my advice. (laughs) Or just don't live with them at all. Yes. Not until you can't get some and get out. (laughs) That's how I feel about it. Just, just, uh, they kill me. Stephanie, thank you. It's 1-800-5-800-TOP. Lisa. On the Tom Likas Show, hello. 
Hello, Tom. Hello, Lisa. <laughs> hey, uh, my only issue with you, because I do believe a lot of what you say is true, but I do, I, I am very offended by how a woman uh, that has a menstrual cycle is somehow something to be feared and abhorred. Well, obviously, when, you've never been on the receiving end of the crap these bitches uh, dole out. No, 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 no. Uh, if it wasn't for the menstrual cycle, women would not have the intense sex drive they do have. That's fine, but they should have their menstrual cycle when I'm not in the same zip code. And then when they're done, come back. No, 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 no. You see, you can't have your cake and eat it, too. Oh, yes, you can. Well, yes. In your case, you can because that's why you are so obese. But if you had any self-control, uh, if you could, if you could actually pull uh, some reins on your own mm, behavior, uh, and if you only ate the cake mm, when it mattered, which would uh, be when women are not. Darling, on I skin? have, I, I can have my cake and eat it too. And the reason I can is because uh, women are uh, more than happy to step back in after I have them step back. Uh, nobody lives in my house, and uh, that's the rule. Well, and that way, we when they, when you are on the rag. Well, not you, because I wouldn't touch you with a 10-foot pole. But when, when a woman is on the rag, she knows that she has to go to her corner and recover and come back when she's done. Come on, Tom. You cannot have your cake and eat it, too, unless, like... In uh, your if you're going to repeat the same joke, I'm hanging up on you right now. Are you repeating the same joke? Uh. Yeah. You already said it once. Because you're already so obese because you're having your cake and eating it too. Of course, you're so obese because you're having your cake and eating it too. Because you're so obese because you're having your cake and eating it too. Because you're too obese. She's on the rack too. 1-800-5-800-TOB. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Norma on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Actually, this is the first time I'm listening to your show, and it's pretty cool. I agree with everything you said, but I think that you're missing one big factor, and that's that there's a lot of guys that don't feel the same way you do, and they like to put up with women's crap uh, or uh, PMSing. So yeah, I, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how these guys do it. You're right. But it's their fault, isn't it? I mean, I totally agree with you, and if they're the kind of guy like you are, then I would say, you know what? Get out of here. Well, that's what I'm trying is I'm trying to tell the guys. If you set up boundaries, if you make rules, if you say dumping your issues on me when you're PMSing is not acceptable. Isn't it, isn't it true that it's the guy's fault for putting up with women that are this way? Oh, no doubt about it. I'm not blaming the women. I Don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I am not blaming the women. Uh, women are hormonal because they have their period. I'm blaming the men for tolerating it. So it's, you know, it's the guy's fault. I would do exactly, I can't even put up with myself. Much less do I want a guy to put up with me or anybody for that matter of fact. But you know what? If you choose to be in a relationship and if you're the kind of man that wants to put up with that crap, then shut up and put up with it. And and you know what? Learn how to deal with it and educate yourself so you can uh, cope better and put up with it even better. That's what I say. Thank you, Norma. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm okay, John. You know, in response to what she just said, and, it's, and what you were just saying, I treat every girl like a dog in that when they beg for food when they're puppies, I don't feed them. And I have people, I have friends, I have dogs that beg and beg and beg, and they always feed them and wonder why they keep begging. Well, if you tell them in the beginning, or not even tell them, just ignore them when they have these problems and these issues, that they won't constantly do that. I, I, don't, I just don't put up with it at all. Yeah, training women is like housebreaking a puppy, and you do have to do it. No, it's, it's exactly like training a puppy. I, I had a woman one time, I used to roll up a newspaper and whack her on the nose with it. No, I do the same thing, but I use Very, very effective. No, it's extremely effective, and the thing is, if you uh, constantly give in, uh, and uh, honestly, I can tell you right now, I think PMS, I think it's all a joke. I think it's something they've all conspired about and used yeah. against us to somehow, yeah. like... Oh, this is our time. This is our time to get at them. But it, it's all BS. 
Uh, and uh, honestly, I just think it's another way they're using to uh, just to, you know, use us and lead us around by the nose. I, you know, honestly, I don't buy it. I agree with you, John. Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's continue our conversation with John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, John. I wanted to uh, first thank you for the show. That We need more guys out there listening to you. Yes, um, you do. I think yes. the country would be a lot better off. I agree. Second, I'd God bless America, I'd sir. Amen. Um, also, I want to talk on the talk about the biological issue that a couple of previous callers brought up. Um, I work 18-hour days, and I get home. I'm tired. I'm stressed. And um, I'm expected to be civil and uh, in public and my social interactions. And I'm tired and I'm stressed because I've been working hard. That's a biological reaction. But somehow I'm able to control it. I'm able to have self-discipline to uh, be have control over my emotions. But for some reason, I don't understand why women can get a get-out-of-jail-free card because they don't have the self-control to handle their own emotions. Because we let them. Amen. It's, Amen. it's because we let them. It's time to stop tolerating this stuff. I agree. But I think it, you know, every, every even biological functions, you can you can control it. And I don't think that, you know, it, it's biological. That's not an excuse. I, I, I totally agree with you. It's 1-800-5800-TOM, the Tom Likas show. Should we have to put up with the PMS symptoms when women dump on us because they're on the rag? Should men have to put up with that stuff? Seriously. More of your telephone calls coming up, including some guy who really, really doesn't like me. And he's going to tell me why. Coming up next, the Tom Likas show with the shortest breaks we've ever had. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas show. From Hollywood, I'm Tom Likas with 1 800 5 800 Tom. Don, hello. You busy out there, Don? Oh, is it me? Well, if your name is Don, it is. Oh, my name is Don. I just think you're funny, Tom. I listen to your program every day. You're the old guy at the club, dude, who only gets laid because you make a lot of money. I really don't care because making a lot of money is part of who I am. Whatever. Well, okay, doesn't you matter. Are, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's the nothing wrong with laugh. having that because guess what? Guys who have a lot of money get laid a lot more than guys who don't. Come on, dude. Tom, you're the guy that's old. I saw you on Handy. I, I know you wish you had as much money as I have, and I know dude, you're I, bitter because you can't get women blah, the way blah, I do. Blah, blah, blah. And I know that despite that, you listen every day. You're jealous and you're angry, and you, you continue to listen despite the fact that I make you so angry. Driving home and having to turn on the sports talk radio. There's plenty. The uh, there's plenty of radio stations on the dial, Don. You could pick one of those, but you pick this one. Consistently, you can bring a CD. You can you can plug your iPod into your car. Your car. I don't have an iPod. I bet you. I bet you probably can't afford one. You probably cannot afford. You already said that. If you're going to repeat the same phrase again, I'm going to hang up. But that's enough. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Don would just like to have as much money as I have, and he's upset that the girls won't talk to him. I understand it's difficult. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Liz on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Liz. Um, that guy was an idiot. First of course. Of plus, and, he, plus um, the first thing he tells me out of the shoot is he listens every day. Okay. He's just jealous. I Anywho, know. Um, just want to let you know that I started listening to you from because my boyfriend... Um, actually told me you need to listen to him he's awesome at first you know I was like every other woman out there like oh god I hate him you know but you know what I totally agree with you with everything you said about women we're drama <laughs> big time yeah and uh, you know what if uh, if you're on the rag just you know stay home 
Exactly, and, and now I want to let you know, yeah, I've been at that position that I, I was a witch to my boyfriend. And he tells me all the time, you know what, why are you women like that? All you want are attention and this and that, and I agree with that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say I'm guilty about that. And, you know, all, all those women out there, they just need to relax and, you know, and if they want to be in a relationship and treat a guy like that, they shouldn't even be with any a guy like that. They should be with by themselves, you know. And I really like your show because I ha I'm listening to it right now at work, but I had to turn off the radio, and I'm a little bit nervous to talk to you online. Oh, well, it's just <laughs> you and me here, Liz. But I told my boyfriend, I'm on the line with Tom Likas. You need to listen to me. <laughs> but I just want to let you know that he is like, he loves you. He's like, you're his idol a lot, big time. I love that. Yeah. Just want to let you know that, yeah. Women, their honor rags should not be even. They should be locked up somewhere. Lock them up. Yes. Throw away the key, for God's sake. Uh, Mareda, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Mareda. So I'm like, you're doing great, so I'm not going to ask you how you're doing. Okay. I've been listening to you for about four years, and it's my second time calling. Uh-huh. And I agree with you. There's absolutely no reason a woman should be PMSing. If she is PMSing, she needs to watch what she's eating. I have a father who has been charting our uh, monthly time ever since we were young. And a week before our time will come, he will get strict, say, why are you drinking that soda? Why are you eating that chocolate? We're not going to get it. So eat right because you got to behave. If not, you're going to get in trouble with us. I have three younger brothers and my young father who would not put up with that crap. So I, I could say crap, yes, yes. Yes. So, <laughs> so um, it's very important that women understand that eating fast food and doing all that stuff is only going to make their periods worse, and everyone around them is going to hate them, and no one's going to want to be around them. They're just making it hard for themselves. How can, how can women be taken seriously if they're going to be using that as an excuse? I'll be taken seriously. I'm a high school teacher, and I deal with a classroom of girls, and the periods, uh, when I class periods change every so many hours, and, you know, I told them, I don't care what's going on with you. You should know already when your time is going on. Why don't you have extra tampons in your purse? You know, why are you going to the nurse to get some? Did you not know this uh, it was coming? And it's sad because the mothers haven't taught them yet, and they should know. It's something that should be uh, expected and they should understand. And the guys shouldn't have to put up with it. In fact, you know, they should also be, be like my father said, hey, you know what, why are you eating that crap before, you know, your period's coming. You know you're going to get bloated, you're going to get agitated, and then I'm going to hate you more for it. So <laughs> come around, eat right, work out, and then we're going to get along better. Exactly. Tom. <gasps> yes. You know, I wanted to actually uh, give some positive uh, advice for men regarding um, uh, child support. May I? What is it? Okay. Don't uh, knock anyone up. Uh, yeah, exactly. But in case, if they must pay child support or they divorce, if they're really smart, women should not, first of all, be uh, divorcing to get money from the man. The man doesn't even, uh, that money does not support the child and the, uh, the wife. They should uh, get a job. Second, if the men are really smart, this is what I asked my ex-husband to do, only because I have my pride and there's no way I would take any money from a man. I asked him to put that in a lock account, lock savings account. And when my son is 18, he can use it for college. I have not touched one single cent from that money, from that money that he's given into that account since we have been divorced. And if he chooses not to go to college, my son, then he can get it when he's 25. But I have way too much pride to have a man support me. If I got a divorce, it's because I have decided that the man and I were not getting along as a couple should. I wish him the best, but if he wants to support the child, that's fine, but he could do it in his college because otherwise I should not be getting a divorce and realizing that he might be in a really bad financial situation. Makes a, makes a lot of sense to me. Sounds good. Mareta, thank you. Christina on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Christina. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing great. Wonderful, wonderful. First of all, I would like to say the um, caller... Two callers prior had made a, um, the young man had made a terrible mistake about you. You are a beautiful person inside and out, regardless if you have money or not. Okay? Um, Thank you. 
No problem. Um, second of all, I'm calling basically because I do disagree um, with the menstrual thing. Um, I feel if a man can have BFS, he could tolerate us having PMS. What is BFS? Bull effing stuff. <laughs> Darling, uh, I would recommend that if a man is being difficult, you don't put up with it. You, you leave him alone. And just like I'd like you to leave us alone. That's totally I mean, I, at no time have I said that if a man is cranky or if a man is having stress because of his job, whatever, that you should tolerate it. Right. Uh, unless you are benefiting uh, from uh, the money he's making by spending it. But if you live in your own place, it's not an issue. You could easily go back to your place and say, call me when you're done having your fit. Exactly. But what I'm saying is if you can tolerate me or or I can tolerate you, it should be vice versa, regardless of, of the situation. If you don't want to tolerate me, I don't have to tolerate you, yes, that's fine. But if you want to, we could go that route, too. It's, it's just different errors there. That's all I was saying, Tom. All right, Christina, thank you so much. Thank you, and God bless you. Appreciate sure. Oh, look at that. Uh, Brittany on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing great. I wanted to call and uh, come out about the PMS thing. Uh, that's actually a Western country thing that only happens to women in Western countries. Mm -hmm. It does not happen in China, Japan, Africa. It's purely Western. Is that because of their soy intake or what? I'm not sure what it is. I guess we're just <laughs> crazy over here in the West. Or uh, women are just used to making excuses for their bad behavior here. Right, and I actually don't do that. I did it with the first boyfriend, and I realized I was only doing it to get attention, and I stopped that quick in a hurry. And it doesn't happen. I don't get PMS symptoms. All guys have to do is say, I'm drawing the line in the sand. You're not doing that, and that's it. Exactly. I, I learned, and I haven't done it, and we have no problems with that whatsoever. Good for you. So I wanted to call and make that comment first time. So it I is possible. It is possible to control your behavior. Right. It completely is controllable. I have done it, and I have actually taught a couple of friends how to do it. And I've also had those women friends that are totally crazy every time they get near that time of the month. that I tell them, stop. That's not cool. Stop. It's not cool, for Christ's sake. All right. The shortest breaks ever on the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show.